και ως τότε που δίνουμε το μεγαλύτερο like που μπορούσαμε να δούμε. Cyprus presidential candidate Nikos Anastasiadis and leader of the center-right Democratic Rally Party, also known as Thisi in Greek, was the guest of honor during a big party in Nicosia organized by the coalition of young volunteers of his campaign and the Social Alliance, a group comprised by members of other Cypriot political parties. The event, which was held on December 6, coincided with the name day of Mr. Anastasiadis and over 2,000 people attended to meet and greet him, but more importantly, to show and voice their support for his run for president of Cyprus in the February 17th elections. Anastasiadis was welcomed to the podium with chants such as uh, change will come from the first Sunday and the youth is with you. In thanking the crowd, Anastasiadis acknowledged that apart from the large presence of the youth, the presence of many important members from other political parties gives him greater optimism and confidence that his candidacy for president will be successful. Referring to the tough economic uh, times Cyprus is currently facing, Anastasiadi stressed that after hearing the chants from the youth in the room made him further realize the strong responsibility that falls upon him to create the necessary opportunities to revive the economy. Referring to his presidential aspirations, he stressed that he will work with absolute accountability, noting that his efforts will aim to prevent any new agreements, any new cuts and any additional painful consequences that harm the workers, the middle class and the self-employed. On a sad note, he also referred to the rise of poverty on the island, noting that right now thousands of people cannot even afford to buy food and they depend on the Church of Cyprus and his team of volunteers whom he thanked for rationing out food to the needy. In concluding, he promised that he will create the necessary opportunities to revive the economy. The impressive number of young people who attended the event, outnumbering the rest of the participants, is the outcome of Anastasiadis' successful outreach to the youth, who are extremely excited with his unique campaign strategy that promotes participation of the citizen in the political process. Running on the platform called New Decrees Participation of the Citizen, Anastasiadis established the remarkable coalition of young volunteers, which operates with team leaders throughout the free areas of the island. Each team leader's task is to conduct public dialogue through a survey that asks voters to share their everyday problems and more importantly provide their own ideas, suggestions and expectations from their new government. Calling this survey participatory democracy, all of the collected data will be submitted to Mr. Anastasiadis to help him uh, better finalize his presidential agenda, which he promises will be based on the different ideas provided by the public. This study will also be published in a booklet that will be widely distributed. Certainly having the support of the youth, who are very internet savvy, is a big plus for Anastasiadis, who thanks to them, he is now very visible on all social media online, including Twitter and Facebook. During the event, one of the youth team leaders in charge of the Anastasiadis uh, Facebook page stressed the important role of the social media and noted that until February 17th, when the rest of the country will give the candidate the biggest like, by electing him president, his team is offering uh, this huge like symbol to remind the candidate how much they like him. As noted earlier, apart from the youth participating and supporting the presidential candidacy of Nikos Anastasiadis, are also many important members of other Cypriot parties. This is a great accomplishment for Anastasiadis, who according to the latest polls, he continues to lead as the favorite presidential candidate. This certainly prompts uh, his supporters to strongly believe that he will be elected president from the first round on February 17, 2013. Sonia, why are you here tonight? Um, for our new president, Anastasiadis. And you're confident he's going to win because he can make a difference? Yes, I'm sure. 
And the fact that there's a lot of young people uh, surrounding his campaign, how does that make you uh, feel? Very, very good. It's very proud of for this. But do you, can you tell me why you think he's much different than the other candidates? Because he's very strong. Because uh, he has different mind, and uh, we hope for our future. Everybody is very excited about your candidate. You're the vice president of VC. Uh, first of all, what is the uh, message that you would like to send out uh, as far as your candidate? First of all, my love to all uh, the, the Greek Cypriots and the Greeks in New York and the whole uh, uh, United States of America. Secondly, uh, I send the message that we will uh, win uh, from the, the first uh, round. Wow. All right, now I've been asking everybody the same question. Why do you think your candidate is much stronger? And why do you think he's going to make a difference? Because he's the best. You're the daughters of Mr. Anastasiadis. You must be very excited that your dad is running for president. Uh, and the fact that so many young people are supporting him. How do you feel? We are very proud of him, of course. And uh, we are admiring his efforts. And uh, we appreciate that he's ready to sacrifice, um, maybe if I may say so, um, his uh, fame in order to uh, progress and make a better uh, uh, place, Cyprus. Because to, today we are facing a lot of problems and it's very, very, very difficult for someone to uh, live in Cyprus and uh, the situation is not that uh, easy as it used to be. Right. It, uh, we go back many years in order to think of Cyprus as it is today. Yeah. Now, you know they say that your dad is very stubborn, and that might be to his benefit, because if you're stubborn, you really work hard for your dream. Uh, what can you tell us more about your dad? It's not about a dream. It's looking ahead and like being... Uh, and uh, being stubborn about achieving the best out of it, like achieving the best for Cyprus and uh, for the economy and the Cyprus problem. So I'm sure that um, if he will be elected in uh, 2013, I'm sure that he will, that the thing that he will achieve is the best for Cyprus. And uh, as far as the, Cy the resolution of the Cyprus problem, how close is it in his heart? It's very close. It's one of its priorities, including the economy of Cyprus and the prosperity of Cyprus. Because unfortunately, we are living um, very crucial times in Cyprus at this moment. And it's really important to see ahead and to try the best for your country and uh, for the resolution as well, which is one of our main problems. Up until a few years ago, it was the main problem of Cyprus. Unfortunately, these days, it's not. Well, I wish, you, I wish your dad the very best. Thank you. And uh, we'll be uh, watching and monitoring the whole process. Thank you so much for taking Thank the time to talk well. to us. Thank, Thank you. So you. Much. Take care. Tell me why your candidate is the best one. You know, today it's the name day of the future president of Cyprus. All the polls show that Cyprus needs uh, leadership. Mr. Nikos Anastasiadis has proved all this time that he's a politician that can take decisions, that he means what he says. And you know, we, we talk to Cypriots, Greek Cypriots around the world, I, I think. So uh, we Greek Cypriots in, in Cyprus, we cannot uh, accept the image of uh, a country that begs that we are indebted. Cyprus was not like this. Cypriots worked hard, very hard, after what happened in 1974, and we earned uh, a place in the world. First of all, a place in the United Europe. And uh, it's very embarrassing that we need to borrow, money. To borrow a lot of money However, Nikos Anastasiadis is here. He will uh, take the command after the 17th of February. 
in the first round we don't need two rounds of elections uh, elections and then uh, we are going to bring again hope in Cyprus based on the people of Cyprus. Okay. How about uh, how about the Cyprus issue? Are you confident? Because a lot of Greek Americans have lost their hope. I know it's very disappointing what happens uh, what happens about the Cyprus issue especially after the decision we made in 2004 however to negotiate to to ask something more a democratic and uh, civilized compromise with the invading Turkey you need to stand on your feet. First of all, we have to we have to feed our finance. We have to to be again a country that is elaborating, that is progressive, and then we are going to to begin again the negotiation. process of negotiation. But not Nikos Anastasiadis is clear not on the lines of the concessions, of the vain concessions that made the former uh, president of Cyprus. We don't need this. We have to talk, to talk honestly and uh, to build international allies, alliances, to find our alliance in the European Union and I think that the perspective of uh, Cyprus being an energy hub and uh, a provider of uh, natural gas of the European Union, we have to keep an eye on this. The prospect of Cyprus being uh, an energy hub is going to help us even with the national question. Χαίρομαι ιδιαίτερο για το γεγονό ότι σα έχει αγκαλιάσει η νεολαία. Είναι πραγματικά σημαντική η συμβολή τη νεολαία σε κάθε αγώνα. Και συνεπώ και σε έναν προεκλογικό αγώνα, αυτό που μετράει είναι να σε αγαπήσουν ή να σε εμπιστευτούν πιο σημαντικά οι νέοι. Και νομίζω πω μέσα από τι προτάσει μα, εκ του γεγονότο ότι η πολιτική μου καριέρα ξεκίνησε από τη νεολαία. Νομίζω πω νιώθω, παίρνω του παλμού, αλλά και θα αγωνιστώ για αυτή την νεολαία γιατί τη αξίζει. Ε, Μιλήσατε και με τι δύο κορούλε σα που σα υπεραγαπούν φυσικά ε, και του έχω πει ότι είστε λίγο stubborn και αυτό καμιά φορά βοηθά όταν είσαι stubborn να επιμένει με λίγα λόγια σε αυτό που θέλει να κάνει. Και πιστεύω ότι θα δουλέψετε πάρα πολύ σκληρά και για την οικονομία αλλά και για το Κυπριακό. Δεν θέλω να περιαυτολογήσω ούτε και θα θεωρώ ότι αυτό που θα πω αποτελεί κάτι που εκφράζω κολακευτικά για τον εαυτό μου, αλλά έχω πείσμα. Πείσμα, αποφασιστικότητα και τόνι. Και νομίζω ότι η πολιτική χρειάζεται καμιά φορά και τα τρία. Ακριβώς. Και να μην υποκύπτουμε ποτέ στους ξένους. Ακριβώς. Χρειάζεται όμως στρατηγικός σχεδιασμός έτσι ώστε να μην τους τρέφεις εναντίον σου. Να επιδιώκεις, να διεκδικείς και να επιτυγχάνεις. Αυτό έχει σημασία, αλλά όχι με λαϊκίστικον τρόπο, δηλαδή προσπαθώντας να χαϊδέψεις στα αυτιά του συμπατριωτός σου, να βρίζεις δυνάμεις που μπορεί με διαφορετικό τρόπο να σου φανούν χρήσιμες. Κλείνοντας, ένα, ένα σύντομο μήνυμα για την ομογένεια. Ένα, την ευγνωμοσύνη μας, α, τη μεγάλη, για τη σημαντική συμβολή τους α, στον αγώνα της Κύπρου, Κανένας δεν μπορεί να παραγνωρίσει πόσο στις δύσκολες ώρες μας στάθηκαν αλλά και πόσο διαχρονικά παραμένουν σταθεροί στις θέσεις και στηρίζουν την υπόθεση του Κυπριακού Ελληνισμού. Να είναι πάντα καλά, τους ευχαριστούμε και τους ευγνωμονούμε. Να σας ευχηθούμε και χρόνια πολλά για τη γιορτή σας. Καλά Χριστούγεννα, ευτυχισμένο τον νέο έτος, με νίκες και όταν θα βγείτε πρόεδρος θα σας περιμένουμε στη Νέα Υόρκη, έτσι. Αν με την εντολή του λαού και τη βοήθεια του Θεού. Επιτύχομαι, βεβαίως να είστε βέβαιοι ότι θα είμαι εκεί. Gregory Neocleus, campaign advisor for the Nikos Anastasiadis volunteer movement in the Nicosia district and former candidate for Kyrenia mayor, talked to us further about this movement and also shared his views about the candidacy of Anastasiadis for the presidency of Cyprus. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us uh, for Actina TV in New York. 
um, we met uh, very recently during the um, very uh, uh, successful rally for uh, Mr. Astasiadis. Uh, and I understand you belong to a team of uh, volunteers uh, that are helping his campaign. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, Helen, first of all, call me Gregory. Well, the, the idea behind the movement uh, of volunteers is to give people a voice that has been lost within the political system. Specifically, uh, through this movement, we aim to do three things. To listen to people's voice, uh, enhance the democracy from the bottom up instead mm -hmm. from the top down to encourage people to be a strong part of our political system, knowing that their voice counts. And thirdly, to hold the politicians true to their promises, and Mr. Astasiadis is willing to do so. Mr. Astasiadis is willing to commit on the ideas that come from the people uh, and include some of these ideas after he has set the ideas with his consultants and advisors in his uh, political program. Mm -hmm. I, I noticed that um, during this uh, recent rally, there was uh, he was embraced by the youth, uh, and you, uh, you, you are considered among the uh, uh, younger generations. Are you um, hopeful that he will bring about uh, a change? Yeah, well, uh, the response of people has been extraordinary. Since the last couple of months, uh, since uh, actually September, uh, a very large number of people um, uh, have, have been joined this movement uh, all over Cyprus. They are very enthusiastic, they are very energetic, they are bringing new ideas. And the idea, the idea of your voice counts is obvious that it was missing from the life mm -hmm. of uh, the ordinary people. We have people from the new generation, although most of them, about 40% of them, who are educated, they are unemployed today. And they are mm -hmm. looking uh, for the way out, they are looking for solutions. Citizens that have not had the opportunity to belong to any political institution in their life and they have not, they have not been hurt at all in their life. Now they have the opportunity to contribute with their ideas and their experience. We also have citizens that have uh, difficult times during to the um, uh, economic crisis and they, 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 they want hope and they want uh, solutions to their problems. So I believe that uh, this movement is very catalytic to the um, election of um, Mr. Anastasiadis to the President of Cyprus uh, in February and uh, uh, there will be a beginning of um, the participatory democracy coming from the bottom up. Mm -hmm. Now, being that you're among the, uh, the leaders of this uh, volunteer movement, are, are, are you going to be submitting any of your ideas? And if yes, can you share them with us? Um, my ideas uh, um, that I have developed, uh, they're more like um, um, about the economy, about mm -hmm. the future economy, how to create new jobs and change this day's economic stagnation by creating a dynamic economic system, shifting the economy from a consumable economy to a production economy. That will give extraordinary opportunities to the new generation to create an excellent career future and compete in the global market of uh, 7 billion people. Mm -hmm. uh, now, um, just recently you ran for uh, mayor of Carinia, uh, and however you did not uh, win the election, uh, but you had a very unique uh, platform. Well, um, I had a dream about placing the Kyrenia municipality region under the EU jurisdiction uh, to a period until a complete settlement of the Cyprus problem. Mm -hmm. uh, specifically during uh, this period, uh, I envisioned Greeks and Turkish Cypriots working together and reap the benefit from a developing program that would be under the EU sponsorship. Specifically, I suggested that such a program can be related to the medical field. Mm -hmm. For example, such as uh, creating a biomedical corridor. Scientists from um, uh, Turkey, Turkish Cypriots, Greek Cypriots, uh, that um, they are working abroad, uh, they could relocate to Cyprus. Also, um, we could include scientists from countries like uh, Greece, USA, Israel, Russia uh, could work in such a program and uh, create the new uh, its prospect and hope mm -hmm. uh, for uh, the solution to the Cyprus problem. Actually, I suggested that this uh, period of time could have been about between 30 and 50 years uh, so that uh, this specific region could be under the jurisdiction, uh, absolute jurisdiction of the United, of the European Union no interference by the Greek Cypriot uh, um, government, uh, no intervention by the uh, Turkish Cypriot uh, authorities. 
Gregory, let me uh, thank you for uh, sharing your views and all this information about this uh, volunteer program that was initiated by the campaign uh, of uh, Mr. Anastasiadis, who's running for uh, uh, president uh, in Cyprus, of course. Uh, is there anything else you would like to share with us? Well, first let me thank you, Elena, for your hospitality on Actina TV and also congratulate you for your many years of support and devotion to the promotion of the Cypriot culture in the United States as well as of the Cyprus problem. I would like to take this opportunity to also extend my most sincere thanks and appreciation to our compatriots in the United States for their many years support and urge them to continue their efforts until we reach a viable and lasting settlement that will reunite our country.